Yo, it's Jimmy on Glitchy Thumbs, and today we're gonna build roller splat in a build box because I feel like practicing. So let's go. Before I forget, if you like this content and you want to support, please like and subscribe. It really helps. And hit the notification bell. And let's get to the video. All right. So roller splat is a game that was built by Neon Play, published by Voodoo. And you know it was able to acquire 49 million downloads worldwide. And the the way they built the game was interesting. They had a hackathon that they organized once a month, and I'll post this article. And you can check it out. You know, their team just quickly was able to come up with this idea. I think it was like last year, around February, when it started hitting the top. It was like, it hit number one, so it was a really good game. You know, it was really simple. You play as this ball. And you're painting in like a maze, sort of like mechanic, swipe mechanic. So I thought, let's just try to build in build box. I'm trying to practice more building mechanics help. So we're going to start building this in build box. All right, so we open build box, click create new, click create empty. Add a new 3D world. Delete the 2D world. And now we have our empty world. And we're gonna need a sphere for the character, cube for the walls, and a plane for the floor. And then what we want to do is drag the plane in here, set it to zero, set it to zero. That way it lines up with the grids. So if there's hotkeys in build box. You can press A, duplicate to the left, and then if you want to duplicate to the right, you press D. If you want to duplicate down, you press S, and sometimes you gotta line up the grid or just how build box is. You press S and then you press W to duplicate up. And that way you can kind of um, easier to duplicate items. So I'm going to do that. Let's see. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we have a nice nine by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. And then we want to do that. And I'm just gonna duplicate around. So we have a nice grid four. And then I'm going to drag this cube, which is going to be our wall. Set it to zero. Set it to zero. It's two. That way it lines up nicely. And then we'll just duplicate this around. See, and that's the problem. Sometimes you gotta get the angle right when you duplicate. It follows correctly. All right, nice. Now that we have that, drop our ball in. Or do zero, maybe do two. No, do one on the y-axis, and then. Negative eight, that was in the middle. And we can see the view isn't what we want, so you can click this camera button and zoom out. And you can kind of pull this down if you want it to be a little bit more centered. All right, so now let's give sphere some color go click the sphere and then click 3d model to expand this let's change this well, we could do like some sort of pink and also change background color to maybe like blue there's some high contrast and we can also change the plane like a gray of some sort we'll just do that 
and that should be good. Now we have everything set up for the beginning. Now we want to give the sphere some physics first. So we set it to dynamic and then we want to set up the swipe control. So you can use the four way swipe which is a node in BuildBox and then you'll need a state machine because it's going to be different states and we're going to set up the different states and then we'll need the move node duplicate down let's connect these up so the first state is up second state down state is left and then state is right so the first state is the idle state so we don't want to connect anything to that because during the idle state it's not doing anything and I'll show you what happens if you do connect another state to it um, let's do this so this is going to be moved up so let's just do negative 20 in the z-axis and then 20 for that and then to the left it's going to be negative 20 in the x-axis and then 20 in the x-axis for the right we want to set this to zero all right so see you see the ball is falling because we set this to dynamic so we need to give some physics to the plane actually let's let's create a floor that way it's a little bit better so we'll create a floor right under the plane which is um, gonna be the part that holds the character so let's change this to um, paint tile that way we can distinguish it better so I'm gonna drag this floor which is gonna you know allow the player to sit eight great and then uh, you can scale this floor let's see that way the character can kind of sit and we didn't set the physics for this yet so we're going to set the physics to this to static that way the ball doesn't fall down and we want to make sure the collision shapes correct so we change this to mesh and then click plane that way sits nicely like that and then we need to set physics for the cube so the ball can collide with it and we set this to static the ball can collide with the wall and also there's a floor alright so now we need to Apply some color doesn't look cool yet so we add some color so we go to the paint tile and we add an if collide if collide with the sphere there's a set color node and we set the color to the same color as the ball and Copy this hex code of the pink and paste. Click OK. So now every time we'll, we'll need to adjust this because let's see paint tile if collide has to be a mesh plane. Yeah, because we can't see paint tile because of the floor. So we do want to bring this up just a little bit. 
position, I believe it's right here. Let's do point five. That's a little better. Let's scale this down a bit so it doesn't. Looks good. All right. So now that we have that, let's see what happens if I use the touch node. I think this works a little bit better. So you can see you can actually swipe at any point. It's because we don't have any tiles yet. Let's add some levels. I think that would be a little bit better. All right, so this is what happens when you connect something to the idle state. So when I connect this move node that's going to move forward to the idle state, when the game starts, it automatically moves, even if I didn't connect anything to it. So that's why we have that first state empty when the game starts. And these are the levels I'm going to build. All right, so I'm going to speed through this so you guys don't have to be bored watching. All right. So I built all three levels and I had some notes on the side because it's easier to explain in a video. You just have everything ready. So now I have these three levels and we'll need to keep track of the points because that's how it's going to take us to the next level. Every time the paint tile collides with the ball, we'll need to add a point. We'll need a UI world UI. We'll connect this. We'll add a default font 1080. Set the score to current world points current. We'll need to change the font. We'll just do like a white for now. To play. I don't see it adding any points. Let's go back to the paint tile. Oh, we need to change add point to points. One current. Great. And you can see it's double counting every time I go in the same tile. It's not what I want. So we'll need to add a threshold that way it only counts once and I believe when you set this to zero zero is actually one and one is actually two and then we do a single event so every time you go on the same tile it doesn't count the same tile twice for points and this is how we're gonna keep track the points to get us to the next level so 53 so 53 points is gonna take us to the next level and what we want to do is go to the world UI at a event observer we'll do 53 points so we know click session points and do 53 great so when we hit 53 points it's gonna take us to level complete and what we're going to do is add a button so we know that we got to that screen. 80. Yeah. And for now, just put a font here. Just going to say next. And then when we do that, we can go to the next level. Great. 
So when we click next, now it takes us to the next level. And we can do the same here. We'll need to grab the score from here so it doesn't disappear. We can bring it down a little bit to, I think it was uh, 300. That should be fine. So now when we click next, it takes us to the next level. And then we're going to do the same thing for level two. Uh, we'll need a UI. Oops. Duplicate that. I'll need to get another event observer. Not too sure how many points it is, though. Oh, and we have a crash. I didn't save the project. Now we got to do that over. What a bummer. What a bummer. Next time, save your projects. All right, for level two, let's see. Let's get all the points. So it's 60. <clears throat> so we want to add this to the event observer. 60 points. 60 points. And that should take us to the next level. Possibly. Let's do this. And then next takes us to level three. Let's hit save. So let's test this. So we can see if everything's working correctly. Hit next. We're on level two. Great. Now we got to level three. We didn't put any UIs, so we'll need to do that. Let's just grab this so we can see the score. And then we'll go to level three and let's hit this play button so we can see how many points this is. And it's 55. So then we'll just go in here, grab an event observer, session points. 55 points, so we name it correctly, and then 55. And then we duplicate this, connect this, and then bring this to the next level. Test it to make sure everything works. So level one comes up. Hit next, level two. Level three and the empty world is our level four, so that's uh basically it. And we'll just need to add more levels. And that's how you build roller splat. Uh, I'll leave this uh you know BB down somewhere in the description. And maybe you guys will find some use for this mechanic. It's a pretty good mechanic if you have other ideas for it. It's better to be more innovative than just cloning this and putting it on the App Store. So if you can come up with a better idea with this mechanic, might as well try and use it. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.